changed up the tires once more. I don't know how many times I've done that, but it's been a few. But this is what I had on there. A little bigger. But these ones might be a little less drag in the water. And they've actually got foam inside, so they still float, but they don't I don't have to worry about putting air in there. We're gonna give that a try. It's April 10th. I wanna ready to go out. I did pick up that boat too. I actually have a motor guard that I'm gonna put on. Might try it. I'm trying to sell it if I can't get three thousand for it uh, I'll have to keep it I guess. I don't know. But it's a nice boat. I actually picked up this boat back here. This will be for my sun dolphin. I'll be messing around with that. Be putting these on instead of using my my rails for my I don't want to mess around with my Colorado XT anymore. Okay, I'm making one last video. I'm trolling forward. This will probably be my last one. So I'm trolling forward. Very awesome fishing ones, but now people see me with the steer arm, but that's not how I that's not how I originally started trolling forward. And you know I put the oars in and steer with the oars and then I drag the tire to get a real comfortable feel of dragging, you know, trolling forward. So it, it's important to have the oars in. Like if I pull the oars out while I am with my steer arm, it's not the same. It's not even close. So you always see me with the oars dragging. And you can position your you got the bungees, I got bungees right here. You can position them. And I like putting the pole up front because if you're trolling forward you're just kind of looking at your pole. Watching that and then you got your down now I got the downrigger which is a, a real nice addition. This actually works real good. So I put my feet up I actually can just one arm it. Drop it down. Then I got my pole here that I can do. So. If you're trolling backwards, you just want to use the, the fins. You know, put your fins on and then you're steering. You steer. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that backwards that way. So that's how that. Now I'm going to hook a can right here and drag. I'm going to do two of them and see if I can get that back end, the back end to stay real stable. You know, dragging. So it feels like it ain't doing that slippery because it actually has a weird feel these bolts because there's nothing there to hold it back I did a new gauge this is a little nicer gauge to do my pressure and all I did was take some tape and put it across so when you push it in it pushes that stem in and then you can get a good pressure I like this gauge better than my other one that I had because I can take that off and then I can adjust to make sure. So this is my new gauge. And then I'm going to try, I was thinking about just doing that. See if that catches the water enough on both sides. I actually redid my downrigger. You can see that there added this because if you get this style that's not going to work but uh, so you might want to get a different brand than that one but I actually did that and it, it was working pretty good
kind of dragon. I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference this makes. Try to see. Still gotta have the oars in the water, I think. There's no wind of any kind. See how straight I go? Still goes off a little bit. These things are just too squirrely. I don't know if I need it, but just kind of wanted to see. Could go a little farther back, but I don't know if that'll help. I think I got it short enough to it wouldn't get in the motor, but it might help a little bit. You can have, I can fill it back there. It puts quite a drag on it. Try it with just that bucket. Whoa! Well, see how see how that fits and turns when you put the oars in. I mean, it's incredible. I bet, I bet you it's about the same as the oars. Still gotta have the oars in. Is what it is. Now I had to add that on there because this one is kind of a screwy downrigger. I don't know. You might want to avoid because this will not work with that little ring there. So I had to add this wheel. It actually works really nice. But and then this is my new deal back here that I got. So this now last time I just had a, a different bucket. This one I'm gonna try because I think it'll take the place of the oars or even make it a little better. Then I got my gauge. I redid my gauge. This is actually a really nice gauge. This and uh, I just this is the old style plastic, the smaller one. If you, I had a video showing the upgrade that to a bigger one, but this is my backup one. But I just hooked my gauge on it, and then I took some duct tape it just goes across I just put some duct tape across this gauge this is a nicer gauge that I bought and this plastic the plastic actually you can unscrew it and then you can there's a little screw right there in the middle you can see that screw and you can adjust it so I just put a little duct tape across so I can push that thing down so you get it in there 
So that was two pounds. I mean, it still leaks a little air, but you can do it real quick. And you can get you can get a good reading. And all that just a just a I use duct tape because I carry duct tape with me. So if you look on this side. That one only had like one pound in there. So that's a simple, easy solution. I just carry duct tape with me. So I'm going to try it. So then we'll go out, try that downriver some more. Now we'll just catch the water and hopefully stabilize that back end a little. I tried this, um, trying this renegade area up here at Strawberry. I haven't fished over here on this boat, but there's not a lot of fish I, on the fish finder. I always joke on the fish finder, you know. Uh, if I don't see fish on there, I usually don't catch too much. But I got the got my downrigger set up. Still showing that downrigger. I've got one cutthroat. Probably not gonna come back here. <laughs> I've, caught, I've been, I haven't been up here on this boat, but I've been on a regular boat. I'm gonna go down here because seems like right out here there's nobody. There's a few boats down there. I don't know. I haven't tried jigging yet, though. A lot of times up here at Strawberry Jigging, you can catch the cutthroats, but I've been trying to catch them, um, kokanee, but I haven't had any luck. I'd like to catch a couple rainbow, the elusive rainbow. Pretty much it. Man, what a nice day. This renegade, there's no even in this area right here. It's not a lot of boats. I'm headed back. I've had enough. You can tell. Beat. It's just rough. It's out here fishing. Got all these waves to deal with. <laughs> Darn fun. I need to spin my umbrella. There we go. What that damn sun. Getting on you. Maybe we'll get a Complete disaster. Two cutthroats. No rainbows. No salmon. No kokanee. Complete failure. Even my even my thing failed. That. Forget that design. That don't work. The two ropes. That one's better. The two ropes in the bucket dragging behind, that definitely, that was probably as good as just dragging the oars. And dragging the oars is pretty good. Downrigger, that definitely, that's pretty cool. I'm going to be wearing that thing out, that's for sure.
like to catch one more. I'd like to catch a rainbow. And then I gotta fillet it. Hmm. One more cutthroat, I guess. All day. I haven't fished over here in this boat on. I tried jigging, I tried everything. Now there's just no fish on the fish line here. Shallow, shallow, a little bit shallow. This is what it is. Still nice to get out though. Okay, this is light. Everything I buy has got to be light. I'm like pushing it. I had to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> they're getting too much weight on here. The downrigger was a 10 pound with the 4 pound ball, so I had to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> Things you gotta do for going fishing, huh? <laughs> Look at that, no fish, nothing. So I have to sometimes pull this up. See my ball. See, I'm 19 feet. You can see me there. 19. 19 feet down. I don't know. I tried on the bottom. I tried everywhere. I won't go down. Put it down on the bottom. Let's go down. And there's no fish down there, but why not? Drop hey, there's one down there at 36. I'm gonna drop right down there. Right there, 36. 35 feet. 35 up there. 35 feet. That's where it is. That's where the only fish is. Now that it's noon. This is Renegade, and I'm not coming back. Maybe like the first of the year or something. I don't know. Okay.